My name is Blake Pyle. I play third base, and my favorite baseball player is Ian Desmond. What? That's Bile who's going to come into the game to pitch. Hey, a lot of strikes. Guys, so, big play right here. Okay? Let's not let it happen to us. A Florida team who's come from behind so many times during this tournament sees Aruba, a base hit away from winning. This is the Little League Division, ages 12 to 15. Most of these players, 13, 14 years old. Rockledge, Florida, representing the USA, had a 9 to 4 lead in the sixth inning. Aruba scored four in the sixth, one in the seventh. After Florida had an insurance run in the top of the seventh, and we are now tied 10 10. Blake File is the new pitcher for Florida, and he comes into the game. There's a 1 0 count on the pitcher. Odebear, that throw down to third base, are they going to call? Now, the manager thought that that was a ball by Poirier. That's a hidden ball trick. The third baseman had the ball, but I didn't think you could do it out of a timeout. But the third baseman had it the right. whole time. That's a ball. That's a ball. The pitcher was standing on the plate. That's, if it was, it was not, there were not throwing. So this could determine the championship. If the yeah. pitcher's on the pitching rubber and when he, the hidden ball I, trick occurs, then that run is going to come home and it's ball game over. That's right. If the pitcher was not on the pitching rubber, but again, it was out of a timeout, so I don't know if you can even do that play out of a timeout. Let's see, he's walking up to it. No, he's not on the rubber, but boy, he's close to it. Definitely hadn't towed the rubber. We go with the umpire's judgment there. Very, very close to a balk that would have won the championship for Aruba. And now finally the 1-0 to Jendrik Odebear. A base hit and Aruba wins it and come from behind fashion. Well, we've seen a little bit of everything in this game, haven't we? Uh, I'm glad the game didn't end on that note. You'd hate to see the game end on something like that. Two and one now to Odebear, who has three runs batted in on the day. Another one, and Aruba takes the championship. The one-one is snared by the second baseman, and we are headed to extra innings. Odebear, a soft line drive after seven complete. We are tied 10-10 in the Junior League Championship. In extra innings now, the bottom of the eighth, Aruba needs two runs to tie, three runs to win it. That's exactly what they needed in the seventh. When Aruba rallied to tie it and came oh so close to winning in the bottom of the seventh. Now they need two runs to tie it again against Rockledge, Florida. Here in the championship game, Junior League, hard hit ball, backhanded first base for uh, number one. That's Hall making the play at second. Escobar, the batter, retired. And yet again, Rockledge, Florida, two outs away from taking the Junior League Baseball Championship and completing their undefeated season. They're 49-0 and now. Yes. Been challenged from, you know, every every tournament they've been in, but they found ways to win. And what's amazing to me is, uh, you know, they, they said that they picked their team from basically three or four teams in their league there in Florida, in their area. And all the kids are local kids from right there. 11 out of, 10 out of 11 are going to the same high school. Rockledge High School. There's one sophomore to be in that group. I think nine freshmen, maybe one eighth grader going back to school this year. I mentioned earlier John Sternagel, who's a terrific young player from Rockledge, Florida, with the 18 and under team. Yeah. Managed by Scott Brocious. Big time prospect.
Gillian Wernette, the batter for Aruba, trying to get the rally started. That's a good swing right there by Wernette. Seemed like it was yesterday when he actually started this game. <laughs> right. Not today. This game started just after 11 a.m. So well over three hours and what was scheduled to be a uh, seven inning ball game. A 2-2 pitch to Wernett. Breaking ball, he stays back and fouls it off. Yeah, nice job. That's pretty good breaking ball right there. Blake Bile, the third pitcher of the day for Rockledge, Florida. Two, two, driven in the air to center field. Parrish will squeeze it for out number two, and now Rockledge, Florida is one out away from claiming the Junior League Championship. If Rockledge, Florida is able to get this final out here, they would capture the championship. But Aruba gave a heck of an effort, and it's not over yet. No, Aruba never quit throughout this thing, and they easily could have laid down when they were five runs down a couple of different times, but found ways to battle back. This is what Little League Baseball is all about. Sharif Renz pops up the old one. It'll make it out of play. Aruba's down to his last strike. Yeah, the Florida finds a way to finish this thing. What a wonderful season, you know, to end up 50 and 0 is what it would be if they win this ball game to win 50 games in a row without losing one. It's just an amazing run. Now you bring the tie and run to the plate. At least you got that opportunity with the tie and run at the plate. Albert Pop, the batter. Aruba does not have a home run as a team during this tournament. You know, and Pop's not a big kid. He's not a kid that's going to hit a home run here. You know, his, he knows what he has to do. He let off that last inning. Never say never, Ben. Well, <laughs> it's just, just kind of tough. I mean, he's not a big kid. But listen, he let off the last inning with a infield hit in between short and third. He's the one that got the rally started when they needed those two runs last time. That's all he's trying to do at this point, too. That's why you see the third base from Florida playing way in. They know he may try to punt just to get on base. Reminder coming up, Little League World Series coverage on ABC at 3 Eastern, so just about a half hour away. Little League World Series from Williamsport on ABC. Two other games later tonight. Been a long summer for both of these teams. You know, it's all coming to a head now. And memories that will last forever. Pop lays off the 0-1. Albert Pop represents the last chance for Aruba. Blake Pyle, the third pitcher of the day for Rockledge, Florida. Trying to close it out. Lifts the 2-1 into left field. The left fielder squeezes it for out number three, and that'll do it. Rockledge, Florida. Champions of the Junior League in 2012. Brady Martello grabs the last out, and Rockledge, Florida becomes the second straight team from Florida to capture the Junior League championship. Florida wins it in extra innings, 12 to 10 over Aruba. For Ben McDonald, our entire hardworking ESPN crew, I'm Carter Blackburn. Tennis coming up next on ESPN2. Congratulations to both Aruba and Rockledge, Florida. But it's Rockledge, Florida, the 2012 Junior League Champions.